watch more Star Trek? Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Trek and Cadet Alice. Alice. No, we're talking about Prodigy. Prodigy. Prodigy, yes. I'll get it. With your favorite hologram captain, who? Janeway. Oh, okay. What well, normally goes in that cup? Coffee. But Coffee. There, but there's nothing in there. Oh, sh it's Hollywood magic. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just watched episode first, Contact, didn't we? Mm-hmm. I think. Did you learn some new things in this show about Prodigy? About the characters? Yeah. Yeah. I know you met some new aliens for the first time. Yeah, like the people that um that have those like crystals that are hanging down from the vines and then mm -hmm. they use the sand magic. They were really cool, weren't they? Yeah, their faces were like empty. They don't have any like skin or real skin. They're just like it's just like white skin or like they're made out of air. Yeah, air. What you you said they looked a little bit like what? They look a little bit like they were made out of air. Yeah, you said they looked a little bit like they were fairies. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they kind of floated down. Well, they were pretty. But then there was another alien. There's an old Star Trek alien race that you met for the first time. Yeah. That you'd never seen. I told you about. Mm -hmm. You remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> they I... have the big ears, and they love money, and they love to do business deals. The, yeah, I remember what she looked like, but uh -huh. I can't remember what she was called. The Ferengi. Oh, yeah, Ferengi. And then her name was Nandi. Yeah, and yeah. she and she was trying to make a deal with the, with the, with the aliens, uh, and she was acting like the, the, the metal from space, but it was actually just regular metal. Yeah. Not, not very special if it's just like, just metal. Yeah. Just a metal plate. So she was what? Trying to cheat them? Yeah. And she was trying to like, she was trying to make a deal that if she gave them um, the special metal, then, th then she would think that they would give her the crystals. Mm -hmm. But they just gave her a beautiful music. She was like, hey, I want, I wanted the crystals, not music. And what, then she just snatched it. I know. Well, which, you know, if they wanted to give her the gift they wanted to give her, that was that should have been okay, right? Yeah. So her problem was she was just greedy. Right? Yeah. She just wanted one no matter what and took it. So she was a thief, right? She stole it. And also, oh, like after they did that little conversation and she ran off. Mm-hmm. Then she said that she sent um, Dal to the mines. Yeah. Which was a shock, wasn't it? Yeah, like he said that he that she was the one that raised him. And she did, but then when she needed more money, she just sold him off like a slave. How yeah. sad is that? Yeah, um, I don't know how good I would be at mining. I don't think my hands would be strong enough. I would well, have to go like, Ugh. that's true. Ugh. There are some things kids should not do, but basically most people think kids should not have to work. They need to finish growing up and learning. Yeah, like, like um, you have to learn when you're going to be a grown-up. You're not going to be like, dah, dah, dah. Well, right. I mean, the whole thing about Gwen's dad, the mean guy, the diviner, yeah. Yeah. the whole thing about him having slave kids for well, slaves anyway but then to have them be kid slaves was just pretty horrible wasn't it yeah usually you make like adult space slaves <laughs> yes all space slaves should be adults actually we, nobody should be a slave right yeah because everybody have should be free yeah everybody has to do what they want except for kids because they might get in trouble <laughs> unless they do good things like i kiss my mom's booty uh, you do? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> but the last thing we need is for little kids to be... And here his Auntie Nandi, or the mother he raised him, his other mother, she's the one that sold him into slavery. How horrible. I think that would be pretty shocked. <laughs> yeah, well, Dal was shocked, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like... 
did you did well did you feel sorry for him yeah like i feel sorry for like mothers are supposed to like adopt kids not sell them uh yes if they didn't how have much them. money is a kid basically i don't know it would have been some alien money right the diviner used yeah and nandi probably ran right off and sold it or, or spent it right she probably went right through it well what was there was a part at the beginning that was kind of funny do you remember that they were finding remember just today we were talking what were we talking about what's the star trek gizmo we were talking about the beam up and beam down remember when you spark you you're broken down into mo molecules yeah. and to go somewhere over instead of having to take a shuttle or walk you can just like beam yourself down beam yourself there you go or have someone beam you they were doing the transporter right yeah and also oh jack put his like his like he put his his little like his little badge here uh -huh. he put it on the crystal so he could beam it back oh at the end yes yeah. smart guy smart yeah. he probably just like threw it on us he run he probably just like well took what it off happened him he trusted run. her and then she wound up cheating him yeah she she tricked him she tricked him into going there with mm -hmm. her and then he felt bad because all the rest of the kids especially he just like bite his hand Oh, yeah. How horrible was that? But all the other kids thought they could trust him to trust her. And then they felt cheated, right? Also, oh, her teeth kind of look like they're made out of things. <laughs> That's Ferengi teeth, my dear. Ferengi teeth look all crooked like that. But speaking of com badges, remember when they were testing the transporter? And we know that Murph is pretty tough. Yeah, right? and also he just like slut very gently just like slide it off the glass <laughs> instead of beaming him to the front of the ship they just like beamed him out oops slightly off yep <laughs> they probably hit the wrong button like they slightly off yeah maybe they hit the outside button instead of the inside beamer button hmm yeah there was one other little thing janeway hologram janeway was still trying to look at the video of her and Chicote that they found, right? That they they uncovered the secret video. And what did she figure out? She finally was able to blow up the video big enough to see in the back. You remember that? Yeah, and she found out that there she said, Who is that? And I was like, It's someone from the evil ship. That's why you don't know. Mm -hmm. you, you've never been there. It's what, Gwen's dad's evil robot? Yeah. He's right. like his like uh assistant mm-hmm mm -hmm. his assistant dreadnought remember that i always think of dreadnoughts and dreadnought but yeah because you could see his what his eyes glowing back there yeah his eyes are like glowing mm -hmm. like this red color so what did you think overall did you like it yeah it was kind of like in between because i still thought that the fact that um that um the, the the mama that raised um Dale, I still think that she's a little bit like a cheaty. A cheaty? I call her a cheaty one. Oh, you mean a Ferengi? Yeah, I call her her kind of like a meanie. Oh, okay, a meanie. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Meanie. Yeah. Well, she's definitely that. And I'd say it. We hate to talk about people all the same way, but she was kind of a regular Ferengi. Now there are some good Ferengis we've met there's other star trek shows that have good ferengis but most people in star trek when you say ferengi to them they think of someone like nandi someone who's trying to cheat you yeah, yeah sadly sadly but i feel bad for doll don't you because he kind of found out yeah Dal. Said, yeah yeah i feel bad for Dal. excuse me i'm corrected but i feel bad for Dal because um he had to find out something true that he didn't know about yeah. yeah and also he found he found out that that he transported him to be a slave mm -hmm. to sell him mm -hmm. i do not That's kind of a shock yeah i don't know what that would feel like i think yeah. i would just like run straight for my life as i get beamed i would just like run out of the beamer yeah well if you've seen the beamer you've seen the transporter it's kind of hard to run out of a transporter beam once it's locked onto you you know 
Okay, then maybe once I get there, I'll just like run straight to a beamer. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just make sure no one is ever trying to sell you into slavery, okay? Yeah. In maybe, this... I'll, maybe I'll just like hide behind behind the carpets and I'll just like stay here. You know what? That has worked in some episodes. Just hide behind the carpets and everything will be okay. <laughs> yeah, just like hide behind the boxes in the room and just stay for a million years. You've seen that work. You've seen other shows where that works, right? Uh, no. Absolutely. <laughs> I've never seen a show like that. Just like hide behind the boxes, man. Well, girly, you keep watching Star Trek and people are going to hide behind boxes at least once a year. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we about done it. Who is your favorite in this episode? Um, My favorite is, is Gwen because she actually, like, can, they kind, she kind of saved them. She figured out that they were using sound waves. Yes. So I kind of think of her that she's going to kind of marry him. She, oh, you do. Aren't they kind of young to get married? I know. Well, when they turn into adults, I feel like she's going to kind of like marry Dal. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a long way to go, right? Yeah. She that... probably needs to turn like 70 million. 70 million. <laughs> In some kind of measuring system. Anyway. Anyway. Well, I think, I think we're done, right? Yeah, bye everyone. Everybody, anybody, oh, are we gonna fly through the Prodigy Cup? There it goes. Okay, everybody. Bye. We'll see you next time. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uncle yeah. Trek and Dr. Trek and Cadet Alice. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs>